Hairspray, probably one of the least talked about products on my uh, YouTube channel. Hair products, that is. Some people's hairstyles are completely saved with the use of hairspray. It's an absolute necessity. Other people's hair uh, don't rely on it as much. Also, you never really use hairspray just on its own. It's most often a finishing product. What do you think, Jacqueline or Joquin or however you say your name? Real quick, hairspray. Trust the old hairspray getting in the hair, man. Get it in there, comb it. Look it, nice and easy. Wait, so just hairspray? Anything else involved? Get a little more hairspray. I've been doing this one a lot lately. It's a little bit more messy, but that's okay. Comb it all the way back, real f***ing easy. And that's the good thing about hairspray is you have a lot of time to f***ing work with it. I'm not sitting here f***ing with these f***ing putties and using all this stupid f***ing trying to get my hair to work. I'm just doing it how I want it to work with the hairspray. That's nice and easy. Okay, third look. Okay, well, any last words to share? And that's it. You don't have to go on YouTube and listen to these whack a tell you all oh, you need this clay, you need this this hairspray, it doesn't matter. You see what I use, it's Tresemme, look at number four. Hairspray. All this time I've been listening to these whack a -mole YouTubers telling me to use clays and putties and whatnot and all I've ever needed was just hairspray. Thank you. All right, well, let's get back to business. Jacqueline or Joquin or whatever, I, I appreciate all the advice, but it's time to take a seat. So let's go ahead and start off with who it's for. Who is hairspray for? Um, with me today, for today's example, I've got this right here. It's very cheap, very common. It's just Garnier's, what's it say? 48 hour ultra strong, sheer set, breathable, hold hairspray. They really thought long and hard on that one. Uh, you can tell, a bunch of just jumbled words mashed together. So let's first talk about what is hairspray actually for. Hairspray's main purpose is to set a hairstyle in place. Think of hairspray almost like a spray gel. It gets kind of crispy, it hardens up a little bit, uh, but obviously it's not a gel, it's coming out of a, a spray container. And so some people don't like this kind of crispy factor, and at the same time it is that crispy factor that helps some people out loads. The reason why you would use hairspray to finish off your hairstyle is to simply lock your hair in place. It's just there to kind of seal in the hairstyle. It kind of helps against different weather elements, against wind, against just different hair types that don't stand stand up that easily. Who is hairspray uh, meant for? So there's a couple hair types that hairspray works most effective uh, for. People with thin hair up to even around normal hair, um, people with super straight hair, and people with kind of limp Hair. Basically, it's most effective on people who either find it hard to build volume in the first place or find it hard to maintain that volume throughout the day. Like the hair kind of just falls over because it's kind of just soft and, you know, it doesn't stay up like like what mine kind of naturally does. That's because I have kind of thick and wavy hair. So yeah, it's made for people's hair who kind of need that freezing element to uh, keep that hair up and in place and in the style that you intended it to be. And this brings me to where hairspray is not that effective and it's with people with hair like me. Kind of thicker hair, uh, definitely poofier hair. Hair that you can create volume with fairly easily and have that volume stay there um, without a problem. See, I find that if I need any additional hold throughout the day, say like I didn't put enough hair product in or for whatever reason my hair is starting to fall over a little bit, a solution that's more effective for my type of hair is instead of going for hairspray to kind of lock that in place, I'll simply go in with a little bit more wax or clay or kind of whatever finishing product I was using that day. I find that to be more effective and kind of give me a, a controllable hold. Because again, once you put hairspray in, you shouldn't really touch it because um, that messes with it. But we'll touch on that in a second. Touch on that. And that's the main reason why I don't use hairspray as a finishing product um, because I find it more effective to use any other post styling product, just add a little bit more of that. And this brings me to the disadvantages of hairspray. Like I said earlier, it dries up a little, it becomes kind of crispy. Like crispy cream donuts. Mmm, those are good though, and edible unlike hairspray. The first problem with it becoming a little bit firm is, well, you just might not like that feeling. It might be like, well, what is this? It should feel like hair, and it feels a little bit like concrete. But the bigger problem for me is that hairspray doesn't let me retouch my hair throughout the day. It doesn't let me restyle it. If a bit falls out of place, it kind of, you know, it's kind of stuck there because of the firming factor of hairspray. I'm definitely the kind of guy who can't keep his hands out of his hair. Throughout the day, I'm all up in there fixing this bit, fixing that bit. Hairspray would limit me from doing that, and therefore, I don't often go to it for finishing, um, as a finishing product. So as of now, we've established that hairspray is for some people, 
It's not for other people. And now we're gonna talk about a few universal um, purposes of hairspray. There's still a few other uses that everyone can benefit from when using hairspray. I'll share those with you right now. The first one is even if I won't coat my hair with a heavy layer of hairspray because I'm not trying to lock it in, I'm not trying to have my hair freeze up, but I can still use just a few spritz around my finished style. And when I shuffle this into my hair, what this helps do is just tame some of that frizz and flyaways that I might be experiencing. It's not hardening my hair, it's not setting it into like stone per se, but the small amount of mist applied does help to um, just tighten that down a little bit and if you have stray hairs here and there, you can, you can easily control that because of the sticky factor of hairspray. Secondly, and this is my favorite use and the most beneficial reason why I have a bottle of hairspray laying around. And this is the fact that hairspray can help you make some really clean side parts or part, if you want a middle part, you get a clean middle part. You get a, a clean part wherever you want that part. Simply spritz and douse your comb in some hairspray Go to your part where you want to make your part and then simply comb that down and that hairspray is really going to lock those hairs and prevent any flyaways from staying in the middle there. You get a nice clean part every time. Every time! I'm hoping that you guys found this helpful, but like Jacko, Jacko Wackelin said, You don't have to go on YouTube and listen to these f***ing whack-a-moles. So I probably just wasted your time. <laughs>